Hey, welcome back guys, it's your boy CB here and today we'll be checking out which is the best formation that you can use as a human player. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about what formation you can use and what are the troops that you want to use on as human in PvP and events, especially the heroes and their abilities. Now, we'll be talking everything in detail today and before that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like guys. Now let's get straight to the video. So which are the troops that you want to focus on as a human player if you want to stay in the human race for the long run? And which are the troops that you're going to invest all those valuable resources to the research? Now what I recommend using is swordsmen and archers guys. Now these are the backbone of the human army and especially if you are starting off the art of congress and you want to really put those re valuable resources into the research i would recommend you have to go for these archers and why the archers guys because these are the dps of the human army they're going to put out a lot more damage staying in the back they're going to do a lot lot more damage and they're going to tear through their ranks so the next thing you will have to focus on is your tanks these are the tanks that you're gonna use is the Sen Swordsman and why Sen because these guys already have reduced damage from arrows, javelins, darts and bullets by 50% and what I really want on them is some magic damage reduction so they have 25% magic damage reduction which will be combined with the Elena's magic resistance so they're gonna be tanking a lot more so you want this guy to stay alive and tank so that your archers at the back can do a real good amount of damage now okay I wouldn't recommend you guys using these Templars especially because they are expensive they take too much time to heal they get countered easily these guys are really good when you start playing out of Congress but not in the long run these guys are not gonna be that great and they get countered pretty easily and get swarmed pretty fast now let's see the heroes that you want to use as an human player so number one Avalon right here this is your guy for the human race guys so you have to have these equipments it is a must you have to have this you need to have the Archer Mastery plus one and the Ardent Aura plus one and another equipment I'll show you is from the void if you can get this one it is pretty great so it's gonna give you a lot more attack speed at the start of the battle and let's go to the abilities right here let's see these are all the three things I recommend using it on Avalon and don't ever go for this arrow volley or anything like this because Avalon is here for command hero he's a general hero so he's not a rogue or a mechanist hero to do a lot more damage so you need to be careful about you putting your points to the things that need you need the most especially the archer master you need to have it at level 10 because having a lot more health and attack on your archer is pretty much a must and you need to have a lot more health on your all the troops so he is need to be having this odd and aura max level so you need to have warhorn it is pretty optional so if you want you can really substitute points on the summon archers but i would recommend is going with the warhorn at least get that extra attack speed at the start of the battle and the next hero i would recommend is elena elena i would only recommend her for her saving lives and her magic resistance and ready and willing to she could earn a lot more xp from these battles and the items i use is this one right here which is going to give an extra plus one magic resistance and the call the cavalry if you are using to to her to summon some troops up it's gonna be uh, making your battle pretty easier and another one hero this hero is pretty great guys her combined with elena is gonna give you a lot more of these saving lives here so troop injury plus seven and she's gonna give you a troop injury plus seven so that's gonna be giving you a lot more of these reducing these injury rates a lot so I have our sun god plus five so that is pretty great you want to keep that into consideration and coming to the another hero that you want to have is Vidian right here so Vidian let me show you the equipments you must have all the swords and mastery and crusader resurrection so these are the two 
of the stats that you want to really focus on putting the points to I have swords and mastery at 9 and crusade resurrection at 4 so that is pretty great you need to have level 50 hero for level 10 swords and mastery it's gonna give a lot more of this health and damage to the swordsman which is a pretty much a must need a thing as a human player so another thing I would recommend is going for Cleo all right only for her tomb of creation so it is if you don't have this hero it's all right guys try to get all these human heroes and that is pretty much it all right guys so let's go to the formation and I'll show you the formation right now let's hit the attack and if you guys have any better formation than this please do drop in the comments below and always hit that subscribe button guys so this is the formation now first thing I want to tell you guys is you need to have the dragon turtle guys because it's gonna give a lot more boost to your troops your human troops so try getting it from alone try getting it from your friend if you don't have the dragon turtle and don't use the silver ones because you need to have the gold ones to have all these buffs and right now I got four sets of swordsmen in the front one two three four all right they're gonna be changing a lot more damage and now three sets of archers guys three sets of archers and we got the rest of the heroes protected in the back we got all general heroes we got the brilliant here we got yep we got denji we got marco and the avalon now the avalon placement is key guys so you want your avalon to surround as many troops as possible and you guys can see here these two archers are getting the warhorn boost so they're gonna attack a lot faster the Mako is getting the warhorn boost the Cleo is getting the warhorn Avril is getting the dragon is getting the warhorn boost how can you tell they are getting the boost is you guys can see a fire icon on the top of every single one of them if I remove it see the fire goes away and you guys can see when it comes to the proximity of the Avalon you guys can see the fire I fire just came on top of the head all right and next what I really recommend using is a mana dragon so you if you have the mana dragon if you have space for extra gold mana dragon I haven't got time to go to Silvani and get the mana dragon that is another formation you can use is replace t t general talk for mana dragon that's gonna give a boost to a lot more of your human units that's a really really powerful formation make this formation even more powerful by using a mana dragon right there so now let's go hit the attack button guys just to clean the clear this base up and first thing you want to do is hit that battle loss hit that battle loss because you want your troops attack pretty fast every single one of these troops will be getting the buff and the the troops that are already near the dragon terrapin will getting the double the boost all right so let's see pretty much all right we got tiadrin doing a lot more damage to these undead units all right so that's pretty much it for the video guys now tell me in the comments below if i have missed anything please do forgive and drop it in the comments below tell me in the comments below what you guys think of this formation and always hit that subscribe button and leave a like guys and i'll see you guys in the next video until then peace out guys and have a nice day